This is Duke University. You know, we're in an academic setting, so I want to start with just a definitional matter that a robust, diverse, civil, national community should include everyone except Michigan State fans. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the question is whether we are um, unusually polarized. Yeah. Um, and it's necessary to remember some historical context. You know, the Jefferson Adams race was not a picnic. The, uh, the debates leading up to the Civil War, uh, you know, about the definitions of the American experiment. But what's new and recent, I think, I'm interested in EJ's view, is not so much that our politics has become more extreme. Political scientists really disagree about whether views have become more extreme. But what has really changed is that our two main political parties have become sorted, S-O-R-T-E-D. Um, by ideology. That has a lot to do with the decline of uh, the northern liberal Republican faction and the southern conservative uh, faction. And so we now have parties that are ideologically and regionally sorted in a way that really is quite unprecedented. What I, I agree with uh, pretty much everything Mike said, and I would just add one Point. We don't even live near each other anymore politically. Uh, some of you may have read Bill Bishop's book, The Big Sort, um, where we now sort ourselves, not just what we listen to on TV or radio, uh, the neighborhoods we live in, we tend to be surrounded by people who believe exactly the same things as we do. I always say I live in a very open-minded precinct in Bethesda, Maryland that voted 80% for President Obama. <laughs> uh, and that there are a lot of precincts like that uh, all over the country. We tend to go to church or synagogue or mosque with people who share our political views. Uh, we tend to go to restaurants where people uh, share our political views. We tend to go to concerts, depending on what kind of concert it is with people who share our political views. So we really have had a kind of, you know, and I think it's about the efficiency of modern, you know, of advanced capitalism where we can sort ourselves uh, this way. And these are the results of individual choices that may not directly relate to politics but end up having uh, a political effect.